Greetings fellow humans, I'm Martian Boo, and today I have for you Extra Large Reno Warrior. This is much like you've seen it before, it's all the good Highlander cards based around brand, trying to double stuff up. The big difference with the new expansion is we get the tourist cards, the recently buffed Cruise Captain Laura, Ham Sandwich just to be able to allow us to play the Druid cards in the first place, Tortolan Traveler helps us draw Unkiliax, and then A New Heights gives us access to basically a nerfed Wild Growth, and if games go late, having the extra mana helps helps as well. The big plan with this deck is either to use the excavate package to get out big threats on board or we can resummon a bunch of iron juggernaut through the help of inventor boom. Anyways this deck was actually really fun. This might be my favorite Highlander deck I've played this expansion so far. I hope you enjoy the games and thank you so much for watching. Prune! All right here we have Reynold Warrior. All right. In all its in all its warrior glory. Surely ten more health will save the deck. <laughs> oh the the big spell of the deck, yeah. Well, maybe we could circle back. We put Schmoopy in at three, it was not the correct decision. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. I can't decide how I feel about this signature. I think I've been so like full card arted out that I just like prefer regular text boxes. I've been noticing that with Pokemon where like I used to really appreciate full arts. I kind of just like the um, regular uh, layout of a card now, like prefer it. <laughs> I think part of that is because um, a lot of the full arts have like, Pokemon's current balance with its full arts are um, hastily thrown together, or so artsy that the Pokemon kind of gets lost in it. And like, when I have a Pokemon card, I want it to be showing off that Pokemon. You know, like I want it to be front and center in your face. Um, much like this, you know, like this does a good job of highlighting the Kobold Miner. Um, kind of a good set example in front of me, but Pokemon will have ones where like, it's showing a giant landscape and then you can kind of see how the Pokemon is there like buried in it somewhere or like occasionally it's not even the most prominent Pokemon on its card but yeah so I'm um long story short I'm kind of over the full arts generally I kind of just appreciate things being in their normal frames is anyone gonna see the Borderlands movie is it gonna be good I didn't play Borderlands. For me, the minion specifically, I prefer the signature. For that minion specifically, I prefer the signature. The normie looks so lame. Mm. What's up, Guapo? I've been seeing a lot of Wrathscale Naga in these Demon Hunter decks. Is it good or is it whatever? It has really bad reviews. Unlucky. Unlucky. You absolutely hate to see it. Well, I guess I'm gonna slam. I guess I'm gonna slam. And welcome to the jam. Space jam. Isn't that the line? Come on, slam, and welcome to the jam. I don't remember it that well now. Or rather, yeah. that long. Well, you've made me not feel sure of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I must say I absolutely hate the new Twitch and YouTube mobile updates. Oh. Uh, well, you could be like me and just never watch any of those things on mobile. Corp said it had early promise and then never included it in the list. Ah, uh, well, perfect. That's how you know it's the best. Patches, patches. Like the full car... Like the full art of Gardevoir X that tells the story of her trainer growing up. That one's like one of the less egregious ones because she's still pretty prominent on the card. Um, but I like the, there's another Gardevoir full art where, um, she is front and center, but you can see like the pond and stuff in the background. Like there's a lot of background, interesting details, but it's not, um, there's enough focus on Gardevoir that it's still cool. Um, I almost played this instead of Trog. That would have been stupid. Um, but like uh, Mew EX is a great example of it. Like the the f the illustration art of Mew EX 
it it's like um it's in the top right quadrant of the card or something like that and it's really tiny uh, <laughs> it just uh, you have to like wait that's a mew and you have to pick it up and look at it oh okay yeah uh, <laughs> um Well, chat, I don't know what to say other than I have cards, so I'm playing them. Knock them down. Naga seems good enough if the opponent plays minions. I've been playing a lot of aggro demon hunter. Mm. So Rascal probably still sucks. All right, chat is divided. Chat is divided. My intuition is that it would be Omega Bait, but I guess if, um, like I haven't tried it myself, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think my opponent is going to be looking here for a standoff and they should probably be careful because I think it's going to be against me. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll get rid of this thing before it overdraws me stuff. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Maybe I'll s wait. Let's see. Next turn, I could see myself doing this and this, and maybe hero powering. So yeah, I won't swing. There's a lot of synergy because you get a lot of one-one chargers. Mm. Does the buttons buff do anything for even DK? You know, I thought it was going to, and then uh, I was looking at it, and um, you you get one card in unholy, and you get and you get two cards in uh, rainbow, and I don't know that that's enough. It might be enough in rainbow. I don't know about unholy though. Possibly unpopular take, but I like that control pyros like this are playable. I like control piles like this. Um, I don't like the tech piles, like the popular Raza Priest builds. Um, but I am... Um, generally a very big Reno fan. Kind of wish I'd done this hero power first, right? That would have made more sense. But I can do this. What then? What then, chat? Oh, you know what? I could even refresh my mana crystals. Hmm. Should I refresh my mana crystals? Uh, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna do this. Martian is Fabian playing your favorite golden card. Is that this? Because this one's sick. What about buttons and shaman? No, it's the other way around. DK gets shaman cards. So no, no buttons for shaman. Also, it's a tourist card, so it doesn't go in any class. Poor Totem was trying his best and died for doing his job. I know, right? <laughs> That's what it gets. That's what it gets. All right, I wish my opponent would cut it out, honestly. This seems so rude to me that my opponent would just do all that. Don't you think? Mm, what is my damage potential here? So I do this. Then I can get them to 12, and that's all I have? That's all I have, Chet. Disaster. Unless. Unless. I forgot I played New Heights. I was like, why am I at 11 still? <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Wow. These are some of the options I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Terrible. I guess I'll take this one. Because it... <laughs> 
Synergy. Let's go. Does Zilliax change make it even now? They didn't change Monocost, did they? Did they? Where is it? Where's where's the patch link? I guess I haven't looked at it very closely. <laughs> Relax your mind. Yeah, they changed it to be... Oh, they reduced its cost. All right. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't scale off enemy minions. Um, I guess that kind of makes it better for pirate ducks, right? Because they mostly had to just plan around um, doing it for their own board. Hmm. Interesting. Do I win? Chat, do I win? What do you think? Was that damage? First time that 5-5 has ever buffed another mech. World first. Nice, Marshy. You made history. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me all your thoughts so you can clip it and never speak of them again. All right. I don't have thoughts. This is a blank slate. There's nothing happening behind the scenes. See? I kept two terrible cards. All right? Would someone who had thoughts going on keep these against Mage? A mage named Specimen? All right. <laughs> I'm higher rank than Marshy for once. Diamond 5 gang. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good deal. Tay Silva, here I am back again. Thank you so much, Tay, for the 11th months. I really appreciate it. How are you? How you doing? It's Seeker Mage or is it Cringe Mage? No, it's Mech Mage. Very good. I don't actually think Ping Mage is Cringe Mage, but I think it's very funny that Shmoopy thinks it's a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> Knock him down. I love playing two mana fiery war X. It fills me with joy. Is it my favorite play in the whole game? I can't believe in 2024 I have back both my fiery war X and also my wild growth. The two things I missed the most other than the other things I missed. Okay, well that's coins. Going out for sushi tonight. Oh my goodness, I'm jealous. Jealous. Do I like sushi? I do like sushi. I like sushi maybe the most. It's up there. That was a terrible draw for mage. That's what they get. That was... <laughs> I was so distracted I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> two mana draw one. Destroy two of your best cards. Let's go. Now we just need two mana innovate. True. Did you miss Warax more or less than Raza? Um, I've never been more upset about a nerf than I was uh, about the Raza nerf. I think part of it was uh, Warax was permanently standard, so it made more sense to me. Um, I was also very upset about the Warax nerf. I was really annoyed. Um, I, I wanted them to put, like, if they had to change it, I wanted them to uh, put can't attack heroes on it. Um, that's the change I would have made. Um, but uh, they, they instead they opted for it to be trash for a decade. <laughs> um... But yeah, I was, I was more I was definitely more upset about the Raza nerf. And like I could still play I don't know, I didn't play Warrior a lot in between the War Axe nerf and um even Warrior. I really didn't play much of it. So I also didn't play a lot of Hearthstone in 2019. Hard to pick, honestly. Hard to pick. I think I was more, I was definitely more upset about Raza. I don't know that I missed it more than War Axe. I think I did. I loved, I loved Raza when it first came out. I despise it now. I don't despise it, I just, I don't enjoy the current version of the deck. 
<laughs> Here's a taunt. There's a taunt. Oh, I'm out of fiery wax. Why don't I have infinite three attack, chat? What's with that? My opponent is playing a mech mage deck of all time, I'll say that much. Have you tried building Pain Demon Hunter yet? With the one cost drink and concierge? Oh my goodness, that's a great idea, I'll do that. Uh, that sounds like a standard deck, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> it's the wrong play, but I wanted to hungry crab that amalgam so bad. Oh my goodness, that's spicy. Maybe I'll justify it here. <laughs> Gotta feed the crabs, they're hungry, true. What are three nerfs in WoW that upset you the most that are still nerfed today? Possessed Lackey? Um, Harpoon Gun? Mm. Multi-strike. I forgot what they did to Mech Warper. Yeah, it was brutalized, wasn't it? It was quite brutalized. I guess I just do this, huh? Or should I do this one? Because it's more mana efficient. But this can also be other stuff later. This is only Brawl, so. Current Reno Priest is just a pile attack. Yeah, it's super boring. Super boring. Not concerned enough with its own game plan. <laughs> Spare parts. My opponent is running. Oh no, that they got that off of the random mix thing. Look at this thing, chat. It would be an absolute shame, an absolute disaster for everyone, mostly my opponent, if I had this card in my hand. <laughs> I can Kobold Miner next turn. But nobody cares about that, so... I'll take this for now. Well, actually, if I take Kobold now, I can play it and also play the Ox next turn. The Tempo Swing. Remember when my opponent was part of this game? Who remembers? And we didn't even drew standoff yet? I'm surprised my opponent is still in the game. <laughs> What's going on over there? What are you doing? Oh, weren't you supposed to get out of my game? What's up with this? What is up with this? Wow, these are some of the options I've ever had. <laughs> I guess it's Boogie Monster. All right, well, that wasn't a great ox, but we didn't need a great ox, did we? We didn't need a great ox, did we? Is this deck the nuts? It's the best deck I've played this game. That much we know. That much we know. I actually wasn't thinking about those from the context of having mechs in my mech pool. The card for the guitar for a card to the opponent. It'd be so funny if it worked that way. If you could just give your opponent something. Yeah, we always tempo the shark. Let's go. Let's go. Time to not finish them because <laughs> next challenger coming up. Oh, should I keep cruise captain Laura just for the funnies? Keep Reno Jackson just in case it's shadows priest. Oh, this is a spicy hand. I kind of hope. Um, I kind of hope it's Shadows Priest. Feel like we have a shot. Reno Warrior, new meta, real and true. What level are you on the pass, Marshy? Do you know what your highest level on it? What was my highest level on it? Like ever? I completed the Dark Moon Fair. Um, one. Signature card, insanely pretty. Oh, you like the the Reno Jackson? Mm. Uh, I don't know what my current pass level is. I barely look at it. 
I barely think about it. It completes itself as much as it's going to, without my help. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love all the new videos, but I don't understand about the editing. What's different now? Perfect. I love, I love that nobody notices. <laughs> it's better this way. <laughs> if everyone noticed um, the difference between the new editing and the old editing, it would be a lot harder for me to uh, justify not editing as much as I used to. Um, what I was doing before was going through the video, cutting out all the dead space. Um, every time I would say um like that or, you know, clear my throat or anything like that. And sometimes like, you know, like I make a little smack with my mouth. I could cut those, up, cut those out too. <laughs> it was like, I mean, based off of the results, it's like super not worth it. It took hours to do that to those videos. But. Yeah, so now, uh, because it doesn't matter, because it doesn't matter to you guys, I get to uh, post so much more often. Like, all the time. Every day. Every day Martian video. Because now it only takes me half an hour to make one. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm grateful. I'm happy that it didn't make a difference. If it made a difference, I'd still be miserable. Or I wouldn't be making videos at all. Marshy doing essays editing for a Hearthstone gameplay? Yep. Not worth it. Chat, what's going on over here? Also, does this still draw anything? Yes. Perfect. Not as perfect as if I was able to play it this turn. But perfect enough. Alright, we're going to play this. We're going to see just how good Cruise Captain Laura really is. I can't wait for like... The priest healing location and the imp location. That's what we're gonna get. I just know it. I feel it. I feel it in my marshy bones. Let's go! Not bad. Not bad. Sure. <laughs> You prefer daily marshy than perfect marshy? Yeah, I think that's just better. Like, um, you know, gameplay videos have kind of like, um, there's not like, um, they don't, once you get past a certain threshold, there's diminishing returns, right? Like the people, people who are interested in a gameplay video aren't, um, really looking for polished YouTube. They're looking for gameplay, so. Um, spending too much time on it just doesn't make any sense. Um, I've learned. <laughs> um, hmm. um, I guess I do this. And we'll do that. There we go. Is Laura the Nuts? Absolutely. I can get Raza with that location. Oh yeah, I should just like let it sit around until I get Raza. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what would be my suggested nerfs to Wild? I don't even know. Um I, I think the list is too long to like actually change the landscape of wild in a positive way so like if I was gonna make any nerfs it would be to encourage my YouTube audience to come back to the game not to actually improve the experience of wild you know what I mean so like I could nerf the um, like I, I think for example, the Demon Seed has chased a lot of people off. I think the population in Wild is lower as of that mini set. I was looking through my videos um, at view counts, and there was a sharp drop off after I did a I did a Demon Seed video and I did a pack Miracle Rogue video, um, and there was a just there was a drop off after that that lasted. So I think a lot of people stopped enjoying Wild as of the mini set that brought back demon seed and introduce that pack road so like if i was just going to try to get people to watch my stuff more often i would get rid of that 
those decks so that hopefully that audience comes back and starts watching YouTube videos again. But as far as like, you know, like for me, I know how to play against the Demon Seed. It doesn't bother me. The deck actually isn't that good. Um, so, uh, um, it's not going to make my experience better to have a nerfed Demon Seed. Um, <laughs> um to actually make like the wild experience more engaging and improve agency i think the list of changes is so long that like it's not worth doing too many decks would get deleted null to six yeah it would be like null to six passage to two or three or something um would be what like alongside the demon seed and then maybe we can look at shadow attendant maybe we can look at um uh like uh, okay my dream nerf to wild is ice block to legendary and once per game um i would love love to have ice block at legendary and once per game it's like you get one ice block you can't copy it you can't discover more um that will you will only get one protection <laughs> um it's a dream nerf but uh, it's also like you know the sorcerer's apprentice need to go up another two mana um it, it, and then like you start thinking about um togwaggle druid and stuff like that the list just goes on and on and we have to delete decks left and right and at a certain point it's just not fair um it's just not like um it's too much to ask everyone to always have their deck deleted i don't know I just don't like it it doesn't sit well with me so uh from a certain point i think um man i want to um i want to kill this without killing this you know what i mean i like i could i could kind of do it right like i could just oh i could also copy this and play a new one but then I, okay, here, let's see, let's see. Oh, beautiful, okay, okay. So while they have it, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> no, my hand's full, oh, it was gonna be such a beautiful play, but I was a baddie, chat, no. Chat, why'd you, why'd you let me make a play that bad? I just wanna say, chat, I really appreciate you guys always taking the fall for my terrible gameplay. Letting me talk to you guys about how bad you are for allowing me to play so badly. <laughs> so yeah, I don't um I don't think that there's a lot of good nerf options. There's like a couple things you could do that I think would just make um you know Diamond Five and below a more exciting place to play. But uh as far as like actually making in, in Putting more agency into the format, I think the job is so big at this point that it's not worth doing. It's all your fault. Yeah, it is. Good job, Shmoobie. I think what prevents them from mass worthwhile the most is the potential free dust a lot of standard players would get. I don't think so. Don't think so. They they like they have a philosophy about um wild that they've been very consistent with so like i i think i take them at their word for wild <laughs> it's all man hours i think what pro oh i scream no <laughs> you scream no <laughs> uh, unless they bring a dedicated wild dev with a specific vision i don't think any changes are that important it's at least uh, right now yeah like, there have been a lot of times where there are one or two things that are so oppressive, like, uh, changing them actually does make the game better. Um, but I don't think it, it's that way right now, you know. Um, Alright. Chat, I'm so upset with myself. Missing out on such a cool turn. I guess I'll, I should let it go. You know, I should forgive myself. You guys should forgive me too. Or else. 
All right, there's an ox. <laughs> that seems good. I'm watching Frozen with Daughter let it go. All right, sick. They don't have the man hours at this point to really go all in on it for very little return. That's the thing is like, especially that last part, I think they could do it if they wanted to and it would be fine. But the population of wild is so much lower than standard. It just isn't worth the effort, you know? And like wild really is only there. Um, wild's sole purpose in existing is so that they don't have to refund all of your dust, right? Like it gives your cards somewhere to go to remain playable. Um, so they don't have to be like, well, you're only buying this and then it's deleted. You know, you have to be able to play them somewhere. <laughs> okay. Why does it make me choose the targets when there are three or less targets? Let's just do them automatically. That's my big opinion. This is going to be six things. So I actually don't have the room for all of my ox. No, it's five things. There's room for all my ox. All right, let's go. Let's ox it up. Perfect. Oh, that would be good if I had more space. I guess I'll still take it. Also perfect. <laughs> all right. And then I used my bash, so there's nothing to damage my friend here. Unlucky. I mean, like, I could clear some board. I could get rid of this and this, which would make this deal more damage. Is that worth it? Oh my goodness, chat. Oh, I missed the four dan- Well, okay, I'm, I'm terrible. Unlucky. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, chat. Um, it was, it was an alright, semi-justifiable play until uh, I didn't swing with that uh, elite torn chieftain. Now it's, um... Now I should shame concede. Unfortunately, I feel no shame, ever, all right? I don't care that this is the worst played game of all time. The worst played game of all time is actually the video I'm gonna post tonight. I have one, um, <laughs> I have a, uh, a game I played with that extra large Reno Druid that I'm gonna post for tonight's video. And uh, like, it was really long. It was a 29 minute game, which I think is pretty cool. Um, with some interesting stuff that happens, but the reason it was so long is because I like messed up a couple of times along the way. So, you know what they say, um, Marshy Doo Doo. That's what I say anyway. I'm glad that they traded with that worm in the order that benefits me. All right, I misplay. They misplay. It's fair. It's fair, chat. It's all about equity. All right. Trail mix. Chat, I have so many manas. I have so many manas for a warrior. That's that's the thing is like um warrior is not meant to have this much mana. I don't know how to play right with all this mana. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking with it. <laughs> they have my Reno, right? They stole it, so it's not like this is lethal. <laughs> I tried out Big Priest since they introduced that new 3 cost card. It's still bad. Unlucky. Unlucky. Has anyone held on to a Gorgon's Ormu cheese until it's 10 cost minions yet? Oh. You know what? I haven't. I think the highest I've gotten to is like 5 or 6. Um, but yeah, I, I usually feel like I have to play it within a turn or two or else I just fall behind. Goodbye, Gold Painter. A flight of spaghetti sing you to thy digestive tract. Not my best. 
How good do you think Big Shaman is? Um, tier high tier three, low tier two, somewhere around there. It's all right. It's been really hard. So uh, Tempo Storm doesn't do tier four anymore. Um, so like, I actually think that, yo, for our personal tier list, I would only do up to tier three. Um, it's never legal, right? It could be with, depending on what we draw, I guess. Maybe I should have played something first, huh? Alright, we're gonna overdraw something and it's gonna be okay. No, no, I'm just gonna refresh. Um. It's not worth it. And I didn't wait to see what the thing was. Oh my god. Chat, if I win this. The worst player who's ever touched the game will have won this game, all right? I have done nothing but terrible things. I, I even forgot what I was going to talk to you guys about. Oh my goodness, I'm so talented! <laughs> That's why they weren't renoing. I actually super forgot. Uh, I actually super forgot that I shuffled those into their deck. They couldn't reno. <laughs> Paladin, Hakula Matata. Interesting. Hmm. I really want to learn Japanese. I feel like, um, I consume enough content that needs to be translated into English that it would really behoove me to just be able to read and, uh, speak Japanese. Um, the only anime that I can stomach dubbed is Dragon Ball Z. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know how much of that is because I grew up with the dub, but, um, that's the only one I like in its dubbed form. And, um, the other ones I can't listen to. And uh, I really like, um, I accidentally, like I, I, this one time on Twitter, somebody posted, um, there was this person who's posting translations from Japanese to English cards. And uh, I thought, wow, that's, that's really helpful. So I followed them. And as soon as I followed them, my... Uh, my for you section started to be filled with a bunch of Japanese posts that I can't read. Um, um, of like deck lists and thoughts on things and stuff, which I think is very cool, but I can't read that, you know? <laughs> uh, they have a translate thing for some, so I can often get the gist of it, but like they'll post pictures with things that are written in Japanese and they'll post like uh, images of cards that aren't out yet that I have to like go look up. It would just be so much easier just to be able to read it. Um, so that's the story of Marshy wishing that he knew how to speak Japanese. I asked, uh, I asked Twitter if anybody actually learned a language by way of Duolingo and nobody told me they did. People would say like, it's a good start, but you like you need to do other stuff. Um, has anyone ever done Rosetta Stone? Just learn Japanese, bro. I'm, I want to, I just want to, I want to know the best path. <laughs> Subs only gang, that's what's up. I would recommend starting to learn Katakana first. Did 
The word katakana means fragmentary kana as the katakana characters are derived from components or fragments of more complex kanji. Oh. Well, there you go. This is a 40 health holy paladin, huh? Um, uh, should I ham them? There's always room for spagoot. Ooh, that was a good ham. That was a great ham. First recorded time ham getting something that mattered. <laughs> move to Japan is the best way. I don't know that I want to move to Japan. I would love to visit Japan. If you have a local community, college classes there with an actual teacher are more, much more effective than some app or service. Yeah. I don't like subs because the actors have to try to keep the same inflection in their speech. Oh, dubs. Because the actors try to have to try to keep the same inflection in their speech to match the animation and it doesn't always work in English. There's that, but also um, I, I think that the most English voice actors are not very talented. Like they just kind of have a group of people they constantly reuse and they aren't very good at it or they aren't given the time, you know, like just try to bust them out real quick. I don't know. Um, I think it could be done in a way that's good. It just isn't. Should I keep execute and slam together? This would be a weird keep chat, but I'm going to do it. Hello, Marshy. How are you doing? I'm from Brazil, but every day I watch you. You have a very funny way to play this game. Keep it up, bro. Hey, Dunks. thank you so much for coming by to say that. I appreciate you. Duolingo is a good start, then watching a show in the language you're learning is a great for pronunciation. Oh my goodness, I do that anyway. So you think that's a good uh, wombo combo, huh? Duolingo to start and just keep watching my uh, anime that I'm watching anyway? I cannot wait to shield shatter this. Indeed? Alright, I'm set. Alright, you've convinced me. I'll re-download Duolingo. I was taking it for Spanish for a while, but I fell off. Get that stuff out of my face, Shadows Priest. Starting with Duolingo, but then you need to eventually talk to native Japanese people, hopefully kind ones to point out your errors. Mmm. Alright, sick. We have the plan down. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Boop. Finish you off. All right, dirty rat out my Zilliax Deluxe 3000, please. I would appreciate it. it is <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> a just cause is always worth fighting for. A just cause is always worth fighting for. I'll show you a just cause worth fighting for. What does that mean? How's anyone supposed to take that? Don't answer. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I see you brought love. I see you brought gas. Hear ye, hear ye. Burrow Buster. This thing's out there just busting burrows. So rude. Oh my goodness. Seek guidance. Chat, they're gonna seek guidance. What are we gonna do? Boop. Let's go. What you got? Lab mim. I think you've hurt my town crier's feelings with that. Hey, it's wild growth. Chat, do you remember when wild growth used to cost three? Simpler times. Terrible times. Absolutely terrible times. Feels good to be druid as a warrior. That's what I think. <gasps> Alright, well, our Dr. Boom is already cooking. It's already getting going. Play this into this, and then we can get him back with Boom. It'll be great. It'll be great. My opponent's gonna be like, wow, Martian. That's so cool, what you've done there. 
<laughs> That's what I think is going to happen anyway. What else would they say about it? Literally nothing. What a curve. It's a curve of all time. I don't know about Rokara on 7. I think I'll probably end up doing it, but like... It doesn't really seem relevant in this matchup, you know what I mean? Please don't Najax. Come on. It's rude. Nobody wants the Najax. Also, I think it would behoove me... Um, if this was dead. So I could go face and then kill it. Yeah, because like... Priest likes to do terrible, terrible things. Unspeakable things. Just in a vacuum, that's that's how it is. But um, to my minions, you know, you can't guarantee that anything uh, I put out is going to die on my side of the field or not get silenced. Especially when they have this hero power. Remember when most priests had this hero power and now wild is like exclusively shadow because the hero power is so much better. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to play this uh, boom. Pretty excited. <sighs> Am I still excited? Probably, right? Why wouldn't I be? We. Well. I wish that it happened in a different order, or in a different way, rather, but... There you go. I absolutely dare you to do it. I triple dog dare you to do it. See what happens. Hey, Marshy, what do you think is missing from Tree and Druid becoming a thing? See, I told you. I told you they would silence my poor, innocent juggernaut. Oh my goodness. The rudeness just never stops. Um, tree and druid being a thing? Uh, a way to get out a bunch of treants cheaply. Down. Um, if it wasn't like expensive and stupid to get out a bunch of treants, like the, the treant payoffs are there. The draw card one and the board buff one are really good. Um, so if like, you know, you had a bunch of things that summoned a bunch of treants for cheap, I think it would be good. It would be less limiting, uh, like it would be easier if all treants didn't have to be 2-2s. Two like if you could have 1-1 one, one treants, and have like some three mana spells with some of three, three or four, I guess. I mean, like the deck could be really good. I have run out of cards, chat. I would really like some card draw or some deep miner brand draw. I'm really bummed out about my. Uh, about my juggernaut getting silenced. I really wanted that to not happen. I think it was so rude when my opponent did that. There's simply nothing <laughs> Stealing my spells. You can have Brawl, all right? That's for you. Oh, you can have Trail Mix for sure. That is absolutely for you. I think Trail Mix is Trail Butt. Trail Butt Mix. Don't buy it. It's not good. It's not, it's not good for you. Do they use Trail Mix in Standard? Like, is that a good card over there? What about a card that summoned Treants with Charge? Do you think that would help? It would help something. You know, if it costs, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe six, summon three, two, two, charging Treants. Maybe they could die at the end of the turn. But yeah, it sounds like that could be a good combo with something like Savage Roar. Maybe that'd be all right. How come that hasn't been reverted yet? <laughs> um... Wow. That trail mix doesn't even have M&Ms. Disaster. 
disaster for the trail mix fans, of which I am one. I'm a big fan of trail mix. I enjoy it. It's a very handy snack. I get these like little jars of um, trail mix, and when I'm feeling peckish, I'll have a little handful of it. Can you not do that? Come on, priest. Don't do things that possibly prevent me from winning the game. It's actually so rude. It's so rude that you would do that. Again, rude. That's nice, though. This would be nice if I could target that with it. Does Re Reborn and Death Rattle doesn't trigger with this, huh? I always forget that I've played New Heights. I should give them the temporary thing, if I can. Oh yeah, that's not for you. You can have temporary polymorph. Enjoy it. Get wrecked. Oh my goodness, one-sided Theotar chat. Who, ah, uh, don't take it back. Haha, <laughs> you got offered these. Get wrecked, get wrecked. Hilarious. Not even sad to miss Rokar, I like. It's not relevant here. <laughs> Look at that Renathal. Look at it go. Look at it get there. No matter the danger, I'll always eat spaghettis. They're just gonna get back with this, I guess. Um, would have been nice if I could have done something to destroy my own. <sighs> Where's my um, Captain Laura to get my one of these? To get my one of these, especially now that I have Brana. Chat there. Oh, I was gonna say. Um, oh, ha <laughs> ha! They for gore. They for gore. Chat. Oh, good. Oh, good. Chat. They forgot about the Iron Juggernaut. Iron Jugulus. You can have everything in my hand. Alright. I hope you I hope you adore everything in my hand. And I have to remember that Um I either play it now or I don't get to use it. Oh my don't get anything good, please. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if I just play everything, they'll be uninspired to use their Theotar for now, all right? Oh, perfect. Yeah, use it now if you want. That's fine. What about the Juggernaut? I put in two mines in their deck, so their Highlander cards aren't active, which is why the Raza didn't trigger when they played it. My new favorite effect is Mista Vista. I sometimes forget how many spells you've played. Mm. Well, there you go. Let's make a petition to Blizzard for all Marshy's Theotar to be one-sided effects. Yep, what a good idea. What a good idea. I would like to co-sign this amazing achievement. Uh, I would really like to get something good worth playing. Uh, is there even anything left? There aren't any mechs left, right? Not something good, please. That's fine. That's fine. Wow, they just drew both the moms. All right. That was not enough damage. Uh, their usefulness is basically over. Um, what do I want? I want like something. What I really want is for my opponent to not have a Theotar, you know what I mean? My opponent has way too many Theotar, which is any more than one. <gasps> okay.
All right. Hopefully my opponent has more important things to worry about than uh, uh, theataring me. <laughs> Play to green mods, Raza, what a noob, yeah. <laughs> But I don't know if it costs four less now. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Ow. I've never seen this interaction before. This is hilarious. <laughs> So they're just gonna get, like, if they manage to kill this, they're just gonna get all the stuff that I had on the field. <laughs> uh. Alright, that's too bad. I would have liked that. Interesting. Alright, that was pretty spicy. That must be a bug. Why would that be a bug? It did exactly what the card said. <laughs> it said give any in your hand to your opponent. I think my marshy plan is to lose the video game, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Oh, that's pretty good. No raise dead for you. Double full heal. That is pretty exciting. Chicken. Cower before me. I dare you to play your Zyrella. See what happens. See what happens if you play Zyrella. You won't. You won't. Two shards incoming. Oh, that does shuffle two shards in, huh? Would have been really funny if they played that first, then they couldn't Reno. Rude. Absolutely disastrously rude. Can I please have Cobalt Miner? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> All right. So we get that and we get what? We get coins. Coins are very useful to us at this stage of the game. Okay. Eh? My opponent still hasn't played their own Reno Jackson, right? Like, I could just get wrecked here at any moment. At, a, at any moment, I could just get wrecked by a Reno Jackson. It would be very sad for the Marshy fans, honestly. Do I want to draw three cards? We, <laughs> could get me close to my, um, to my cruise captain Scrumbo. Hmm. Nah, I'll chill. But it's a funny thought. 
That never happens? Oh, okay, sick. Off the top? No way. Yeah, play that. No. Yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah. Play it. Play Zyrella. If they're playing Zyrella, what are they... how are they living? Are they gonna play, like, Hysteria, I guess? Would you really want to play that first? Just Hysteria first, like Mass Hysteria. If they have a board clear... Huh. Alright, so all I have to do is get that out of the way. And I have the power to do that. So, that's pretty cool. Wait, I don't have an Execute anymore. I'm sure I can do this, right? Like, I have a Zephyrus in my hand. Can't be that hard. Um, just an adder of not messing it up. Mm -hmm. I have 29 damage out, so I need to do 29 and 2. So that would be like that and that. All right. Jam session. Jam session funny. We. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we also had like this three damage in Zephyrus. So like it was, it was gonna happen. It was just a matter of like, don't mess it up, Marshy. So as you may have noticed in the most recent round of balance changes, a card called Lamplighter was nerfed by one mana. The Lamplighter was a three for three two, I believe, but it dealt a damage for each previous turn in a row that you had played an elemental. So it was a lot of burst damage, primarily used to end games. There were basically three decks using it. There's Elemental Mage, Elemental Shaman, and then Elemental Rogue. Elemental Mage and Shaman have planned and elemental synergies and then in rogue you had shadow steps so you could bounce the lamplighter to deal a bunch of extra burst damage in all three of these decks lamplighter is a power outlier and if you rated them by their stats on player side websites lamplighter rogue was the worst one pretty significantly so elemental mage and shaman were much better than elemental rogue why am i bringing this up well every time a good battle cry or a good charge minion gets nerfed people blame it on shadow step and it's starting to really get under my skin my stance on shadow step is i think it would be perfectly fine and probably good if it was rotated out of standard and it's not because i think shadow step is particularly problematic or anything i just don't think that any card should always be in standard i think everything should take time off of standard and shadow step is part of everything so i think it would be absolutely fine if shadow step rotated but no i don't think that it's like a card that has gotten a ton of things nerfed and should have been rotated because it's making the game worse. I think that really powerful battle cries and charge minions are especially exposed by the existence of Shadow Step. But going all the way back to Leroy, which would be the first nerf that's blamed on Shadow Step, yes, Leroy was a very powerful finisher in Miracle Rogue, and it was such a powerful finisher in Miracle Rogue because of Shadow Step being able to bounce it so many times. But it was also a really powerful finisher in handlock so you would go Leroy power overwhelming faceless on the Leroy for 20 damage and then you could soul fire twice because it cost zero back then so you had all this extreme burst damage in the handlock deck as well based around Leroy and bumping Leroy up a mana from four to five not only made it so that you couldn't bounce Leroy three times in a turn in rogue but it also meant that you couldn't play Leroy and faceless alongside power overwhelming in warlock so Shadow Step was not the only culprit, it's just Leroy was a really strong card, and Leroy wasn't only getting used in those decks, you know, every aggro deck would consider Leroy just because 4 for 6 damage was really powerful, and that would continue on for years with 5 mana Leroy. So Shadow Step isn't the reason Leroy got nerfed, Leroy got nerfed because Leroy was really strong. And that goes all the way back up to Lamplighter. Lamplighter is just a power outlayer all on its own, it doesn't need any help from Shadow Step. 